Good evening. Today I want to talk about the concept of being interested but not obsessed. And you know, as a as a gamer, I've found that I really, really enjoy computer games, and I have for my whole life. When I was a teenager, I was so excited about role-playing games like King's Quest back when that was a thing, and then city builders and management sims like SimCity and Z Tycoon and real-time strategy games like Empire Earth. And then years passed and then more recently I've gotten back into gaming again. And I find myself thinking about games a lot. And I think about, you know, what games I would like to play. And I think about maybe what games I could feature to, to make a YouTube channel. Because I, I think about other YouTubers that have game channels which I've come to enjoy. And I look forward to their content and things. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to make videos about something that I really enjoy and then find a way to share that in some way that maybe is, you know, positive or uplifting to other people. Anyway, I just, I spend quite a bit of time thinking about games. And yet, the truth is I'm not a hardcore gamer. Because when I think of a hardcore gamer, I think about somebody who, they, they know all the metas, they know all the mechanics, they just have this mastery of all these different games that they review or play through, or maybe it's just one game that they've gotten totally into and they know all the ins and outs of it, and I admire that, but it's really not me. I just want to play a game and enjoy it. I don't care about mastering every single aspect of the game. I don't care about being the absolute best player. I don't really care about min-maxing. I just want to have an enjoyable experience. But that doesn't mean that I don't care very much about the game. It doesn't mean that I'm not serious about it. I would describe myself as a gamer in the sense that gaming is important to me. But I'm not obsessed with it like some people who are more hardcore than me would be. So I'm kind of in the middle there. And I, I think as much as I would like to be identified as a gamer, and I would describe myself as one, I also don't think it's appealing for somebody to define their whole personality by video game playing. I, I mean, we've, we've all seen these things, like people who spend their whole life in front of a, a PlayStation or a Xbox or something playing Call of Duty and they think that Call of Duty is real life or something. That's stupid. But then... Haven't we seen that in a lot of different other ways, too? Like, people who are obsessed with some sports team, or they're obsessed with just watching TV all the time. Like, any time they're not doing a work that somebody forces them to go to, they're just sitting there at home watching Netflix or something. And they, you know, that that's just as bad. But then it's not just entertainment, is it? It's also things like jobs. How many people are there that are they're career-minded, they're focused on success, they're focused on growing their career, but they're not doing it so that they can squirrel away investment money or so that they can provide for their future. They're doing it because they get their sense of self-worth out of that job. That's, what, that's who they are. Like, they've convinced themselves that they can put their whole personality into the work they do and that's their family that's their entertainment that's their everything and that's not that's really unappealing too because it's it's like it's the same thing as a video game addiction only people do it with their careers and they spend their life looking down on other people and polishing their rank and and 
and boasting about some badge that they're wearing. And the truth is, it's all just basically they're min-maxing a character like they're in an MMO, only it's their corporate job they're doing it with. Or people go to church and they're all wrapped up in you know service to their community or service in their church or something. And, and again, it's just it's this lopsided obsession that's all-consuming. It's not healthy. It's not appealing even to be so obsessed with something that there's nothing to your life other than that one thing that you've made to be all important. I don't believe in that. But then at the same time, I also don't believe in just not caring about anything, about having nothing that you're at all interested in. And I think I think it's interesting that this middle ground is so rare. It's like wanting to go be a bicycler. You want to have a bicycling hobby, so you go get a normal bike for a hundred dollars at the store, and then you go bicycle around your neighborhood. Does that mean you're not serious about it? No, you can be serious about it, but then you go from there to compare yourself to the serious bicyclers who wear the tight-fitting pants and they're aerodynamic and they have a $15,000 bicycle in their garage that's hung up on some kind of special mounts or something. Well, you're a far cry from that, right? Or you like to go hiking, but then... You know, compare, you know, me, I just go in my regular clothes and I go find a trail and I walk down it, right? Like, that's my idea of exercise and hiking. I think that I'm serious enough about it. But then I'm nothing compared to these people that live for the virtue signaling of having expensive gear and going out there and, like, everything about them it screams that they live their whole life at the RAI store and they're always you know they're always out there to own the the outdoors like they're that material for the commercials or something like that's that's kind of it's ditch to ditch right like there's people you know there there's people who are sitting there on the rear end doing absolutely nothing and then you got the people that act like everything has to be all about athletics I don't go to the gym to work out, but I like to walk, I like to get exercise, I like to do things to make sure that I'm reasonably fit and healthy. You know, I don't go out and, and look at everything to make sure I'm eating all organic produce and, and freaking out about all the little things that are supposedly going to kill me food-wise, but then I also don't go to McDonald's, I don't eat a bunch of junk food and stuff either, right? So it's just, it's kind of, can you just have a middle way approach to things? Can you be interested in things and take them seriously, but then not be totally obsessed with them either to where you let your whole personality be defined by something that should be a small part, but a meaningful part of your personality? And I think it's important to be able to do that. It's important to be able to be interested without being obsessed. To be involved and actively engaged and truly interested, but also not to turn yourself into a caricature. Because when you do that, you box yourself in and nothing can live up to the expectations of perfection. You can commit yourself to a game because it's supposed to be the best game ever made. And it's not going to be. You can commit yourself to a person expecting them to be, you know, perfect. And they're not going to be. You know, like, like nothing in life is going to fulfill everything you need out of life. So what you have to do is be actively celebrating the good things in your life 
actively seeking out good things in your life, but then also understanding fully that no one of those things is your life. And understand that it's not just things like, it's not just things like video games or entertainment that can wind up being unhealthy obsessions. It can be things like jobs or other organizations like religion or politics too. Anything that becomes totally all-encompassing in your life is probably not healthy, really. So learn to learn to step away a little bit. But also don't be don't be so removed from everything that you just never commit either. Because that's not good. And I think it's a real shame when I see people who live their whole life on a basis of standing for nothing, caring about nothing, unengaged, uninterested in their work, not passionate about any particular hobbies, not having any particular sense of imagination in their lives, just sort of existing, like they're in a daze or something. And then you have the other people on the other side of the fence that are so obsessed that they that they can't that they can't, you know, see anything other than that one shallow perspective that they've gotten to be fixated on. We live in a world full of extremes. And sometimes the most important thing you can do is just find the middle way between all of them. And don't reject any of them. Just be open to more than just one path. In any case, always remember, by their fruits you'll know them. Good trees don't bear bad fruit, so remember that. Chances are, if something is making you happy, and if it's doing good things in your life, it's a good thing for you. But if it bears the fruit of frustration and confusion and conflict inside, then it's probably something you want to let go. And if you're looking for a solution to anything in life, I think the simplest answer is usually the right one. So just kind of look at it from that perspective. Usually if you have to rationalize why something is right, and you have to think it through and think it through and think it through, it probably isn't. Like the things that are good for you, like you don't have to really think them through very much. You just kind of know. So, do things that make you happy and do things that give you something meaningful that you can share with other people along the way. Whether it's a game or it's work you do, be interested in it. But don't be obsessed with it because in the end we don't really take any of it with us anyway. So it's best not to hang on too tight to things. Till next time, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.